Hello, how's everybody doing today? All right. So I've decided to go ahead and uh, do a live stream here. I went ahead and decided to go ahead and do a live stream here. Um, my friend David Lynn sent me a package in the mail. So um, rather than just make the video, I decided just to go ahead and go live stream. Um, it's a little dark in here. I'm in my basement. Um, I don't really have any other place to do it right now. It's a little too cold to be outside right now. So I decided just to do it in my basement. Uh, rather than make a video, I decided to do a live stream. I need to learn how to do live streams anyways. So I figured it was a good idea to go ahead and just uh, do it this way. <laughs> um, I'm going to wait a couple minutes in case anybody decides to come in here and, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I'm going to wait till it says about a minute and a half and then I'm going to start the video. If you haven't done so yet, uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the like button, uh, comment, you know, you know how to do all those things. So I'm going to talk a little bit about me, uh, what my channel's about. I mentioned David Lynn and what his channel's about. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up the package he sent me. So my name is Pastor Green. Um, I've got a bachelor's in theology and religious studies and things like that. And my main, main ministry is creation science. And what that basically means is, is that Genesis 1 through 11 talks about creation, the flood, Tower of Babel, things of that nature. And I use my channel to... I do Christian seminars, end time videos, things like that. And I use my channel in a way to um, combat some of the lies out there in the scientific community. For instance, evolution. Um, you know, I, I, I talk about the way that God created the earth and how we can prove those type of things. And then every Sunday I post a um, about, you know, 15, 20 minute, half an hour Bible study. Right now I'm going through Second Kings. After that I don't exactly know what to do. I'll probably do a some type of a uh, survey and ask people what they think I should do. But um, <clears throat> that's basically a little bit about me. Um, I was an atheist until about uh, 2006. And then um, I started kind of getting into the Bible and trying to prove it wrong. And I ended up, ended up getting saved because of it. So um, uh, David Lynn, he's a good friend of mine. He watches my channel. And uh, David, David Lynn's channel is called David Lynn Preppy Principal. He used to be a principal at a school. Um, he got really big into prepping. I started doing prepping back in 2000. And I think it was 2008. We had a big storm come through and it knocked out power for three days. That's how I got into prepping. I don't exactly know how he got into prepping, but I think it's a really good idea. And if you watch his channel, you're going to see that he talks a lot about survival stuff, survival food, survival uh, tactics, uh, different survival gear. He talks about different things you could buy at the store, uh, different type of ideas that you can do to maybe make your life a little easier, uh, prepping, things like that. And I'm going to link his, his channel in the comments of the actual recorded video. Uh, this is my first live, so I don't know how to do it here. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up his box. I'm going to see what he sent me. Um, he made a video about it, so I know 90% of what he sent me. But he might have threw some stuff in there when I wasn't looking. You never know. He might not have. Uh, but I really appreciate David. David's been a really good friend of mine. I think he's been watching my channel for probably since 2020. I was doing a um, video every month about uh, Meditar Trading Company sending me um, a monthly survival ration. And right before that, he actually saw one of my videos and we've been talking ever since. Now, I talk about survival videos very rarely. Um, I always do mention to people that they should have at least three days worth of survival gear, food, water, uh, ways to boil water in case of an emergency. Um, I really think you should have more than three days, but three days is a good go-to for the simple fact that things happen. I mean, look at 2020, uh, people had a lot of issues with finding food, <clears throat> finding things that were clean, finding water. You know, people people struggled because they wasn't working. They didn't have any kind of you know food sort of saved up, and it hurt a lot of people. Um, 
like I said, I started doing it in 2000. I believe it was eight. We had a big hurricane or tornado or something come through. Knocked out our power for three days. And so everything on our refrigerator had to be thrown away. Um, we ate a lot of canned goods. We grilled out in the backyard, things like that. But I believe we should we should uh, keep prepping food and survival food for the simple fact that, number one, biblically, it talks about a time that's going to happen soon that the, basically everything's going to be so expensive you can't afford any everything. It mentions that a, a measure of wheat, which the measure is when you take your hand like this, you know, you, you basically fill it up. That's called a measure. It's going to be one day's wage. So imagine that much wheat is going to be $100 or something like that. Well, it's going to raise the price of bread really, really high. It's going to raise the price of pizza and pastas. Anything that uses grain is going to be that high. Um, Money is going to pretty much be useless because everything's going to be so expensive. And so if you have some food saved up, obviously the Bible says it's going to last for anywhere from three to seven years. Uh, I don't expect you to have that much uh, prepping stuff, but it'd be great if you did, but at least three days. But then you also have to think about uh, financially and economically, you know, COVID happened. A lot of people had issues finding food for four or five months. What happened if it's a power outage? What happened if there's World War Three? Or what happens if something was to go on that it'd be harder to get food? It's a good idea to have some available. Not to mention, you know, uh, it, it's good to go ahead and s sample certain things. And that way, you know what you're going to like. So every now and then I'll post a video of an MRE or some type of survival food. Uh, just, just so I can, in my personally, try different things and see what I like. And then once I know what I like, I start storing it. So anyways, David sent me this package. It's a little care package. There's some little just fun things in there, um, you know, different like Tabasco sauces and things like that, because he knows I like it. He's been gifting some of his subscribers uh, little little goodie boxes. And so I'm going to go ahead and open that. It's been almost seven minutes here, so I, nobody's coming in here, which I didn't think anybody would because this is my first live stream. So this is the box right here that... Uh, David Lynn sent me. You can see there. And I'm going to go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. So, the first thing I see in here is some Folgers coffee. Uh, David and I both like coffee very, very much. So, he got some instant Folgers coffee in there. It looks like you, uh, let's see, add six ounces of water. So, you add six ounces of water in there, and you get a nice little cup of water of coffee. He sent me here this the Nescafe, which is also a very good flavor of coffee. Taster's Choice Coffee as well. Um, hello, whoever just came in here. I don't know who it was, but how are you guys doing? That's really nice of him to send me coffee. He sent me a small little box of Kleenexes. Uh, the nice thing about Kleenexes is obviously you can use it for a tissue, but you can also use it for napkins. An emergency, you can use it for when you go to the bathroom. And you can just cut it up into small pieces and you can make a fire with it as well. So that's a really good thing to have. He sent me a Constitution of the United States of America. This is really important to have. Our Constitution has been trampled on here in the United States. And so it's really good to know what the laws are. So move it over there. He sent me a box of Chipotle Tabasco sauce. This is the flavor I haven't had yet, so I'm really excited to try this one here. He sent me the jalapeno flavor. Jalapenos are really good flavor, especially on like pizza and nachos. Very tasty. It's actually quite mild. It's like one on a hot scale, where the Chipotle is, is two on the hot scale. He sent me the classic one, which is a three on the hot scale. A lot of people say that it's really vinegary, but I really enjoy that about it. It's, I, really, I really like this a lot. I got some really cool bubble wrap to play with later. He sent me a folding stove here, which as you can see down here, it takes a sterno. And with the folding stove, he sent me a two pack of sterno. And what Sterno is, it's a small little container with a gel fuel inside of it. You pop this little top off there, take a match to it, and it'll light up. I don't know how long they last for. Let's see if it says on here. It 
doesn't really say that I can see. But it's going to last for a couple hours. In fact, if you go to any kind of buffet or any kind of catering service, they have these things sitting underneath um, the things that keep the food the food warm. He sent me here this uh, emergency stove. This emergency stove stove uses fuel tabs. You can see down here in the bottom, this gets fuel tabs. And with that, he sent me a packet of fuel tabs as well. Again, you take these little fuel tabs, you put it in the bottom there, take a match to it, and they stay lit for a while as well. It says it'll burn, one tablet will burn for nine minutes. Nine minutes is enough time to, to boil some water for coffee or some food, things like that. And then I got a packet here of um, Pine Mountain Stormproof Matches here. Stormproof Matches is great. Let's see, 25 matches, that's a great amount of matches there. And this is to help light the sterno and the fuel tabs. And of course I got some more bubble wrap in there to play with later. So I really appreciate this, David. It really means a lot to me that you're sending some love and support to my way. I'm definitely going to be taking advantage of the uh, Tabasco sauce and the coffees. I'll be putting the fuel tabs and the uh, sterno, the little foldable, the foldable uh, stoves and things to boil water in later in my survival stuff. Um, I still have to make a video of his uh, Sapaco reduced reduced salt MRE he sent me a couple months back I just haven't really got a chance to do that so I'll be doing that very soon um, hope the person watching is enjoying my video I they haven't said anything so I don't know who it is but I appreciate them coming in here and watching it when the live streams over make sure you go back to the live stream video and you click like and you can comment on that as well if you're watching the live stream right now please comment hi just so that way I get credit for you watching but um, I'm going to try to make more live streams in the future and try to answer questions on biblical stuff, end times, creation, things like that. That's kind of where my uh, my ministry is, 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 is the end times and the creation. Uh, me and David lived that always argue about creation, but we can still believe in Christ as our Savior and things like that. Um, I'm going to be ending a live stream very soon because I just wanted to make a quick video uh, while I had a free chance. Again, I'm sorry I'm in my basement, but... It's too cold outside right now to uh, make a video outside. But when I get a little bit more light in the summertime, I'll be making a lot more videos outside where you can actually see me a lot better. Again, I appreciate David Lynn for sending me out that, uh, that nice little survival kit. He sent me the, the little bag of goodies there. And, um, you know, I, I, I can't thank him enough. He's been a really good supporter of mine. He's done so much stuff to just, you know, support me over the years, sending me great messages and, I love watching his videos as well. And like I said, I'm going to put a link to his his channel uh, once the live stream is over in the comments. That way, when people come back and watch it again, they can actually click on his link and they'll subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to his channel as well. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the live stream off. And I will see you guys next time. Have yourself a great day.